Hey. Back in Vegas. <laughs> Capone thinks you're talking to him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who's that? Who's that right there? I think I think he's not so excited today. He was more excited last time. Well, he's a little. He's <laughs> been waiting for me. Look at these. See, some of these fans they send this to me. See this? Who are those to people? Me. They sign them to you? Yes. Yeah, some some Harry, Joe, and Harry. Oh wow! So if you guys are watching, a shout out to you guys. So this is some of these things I posted on Insta Story. I don't know if you saw it the other night. Uh uh. Um, wow. About I need to frame some more of this stuff, so I'm actually I hit up a bunch of people and I'm like, hey, where should I order frames from? And they told me that this hobby something. Hobby don't don't you have someone something. who come? Oh, Hobby Lobby, yeah. Yeah, well, no, I need to buy frames now because I used to buy them from Aaron Brothers, but they went out of business. <sighs> so people are like, oh, Michaels or this this online. Hobby Lobby, yeah. Yeah, I, I should ask you. You would have known. The problem is that. You know, all these are all like different size, so I don't know if, yeah. uh, you know, you may have to do something custom. You know, Sheru gave this to me. This is supposed to be like, good luck, you keep this in your home. Or Wasn't whatever. that on your counter? Yeah, Before? it was on the counter. People yeah. kept commenting yeah. on that. Yeah. Yeah. This is Chris Gettin's book, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, you told me it last night. So he gave me this. He's here this weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, he's at EDC or something. There's a lot of people yeah. in town. Yeah, I get a lot of, like, people that give me their books. And this is the one copy that's... The, I actually sold two Beats by Jay the other day. Oh, really? So a, a fan <laughs> reached out to me. So, uh, CEO Muscle. Yeah. But you know what's funny? I didn't even tell you this. I'm doing another book. Brand new? I'm doing a new book. What's it called? I haven't decided yet, but I'm actually in the process now of like coming up with... I'm going to do a whole like story book. Oh, man, that's cool. And on training and stuff. You know, because my online business is going crazy right now with my J Club. Yeah. And I'm getting so much great feedback. That uh, I want to you, uh, don't mind the mess because we're, do we're doing a lot of stuff here. I'm giving show it. Oh, is this yours, Dave? <laughs> what is that? I don't think so. You sure? Oh. It was on. It was here. I really? found it on the couch. Weird. All right. So this this is this video is gonna shock you. Okay. I was thinking this today. I was at the office this morning and I actually went. Look how patient he is. He. He's like a little person. <laughs> I know. He's like sitting little... in my seat. He's in the chair. That's awesome. You know? He's being good so, right now. I was sitting at the office today and I was packing and shipping. And today is 2 o'clock close day at the post office. So I had to make sure I get a lot of reading stuff out. And I had a bunch of comp stuff to send out. And I was thinking, man, like, I went to Chaos, which is where Angie's working at the Palms Pool. And I was walking around there, and of course the fans like go crazy, right? And <laughs> people come up to me asking me for pictures. And, you know, I was around people that kind of know me, but don't know that side of me, like when I competed. And I won all this stuff, right? But, and they're like, man, you still got it. And I'm thinking, man, it's never going to stop. I mean, if not, it's more popularity since social media, right? But I actually was thinking about, man, like competing, and the New York Pro's going on today, right? Yeah. It's over now, but. And I'm like, man, you know, I started to reminisce with, you know, this is where I won my first That's right. pro show. That's right. It was the NOC, which is now the New York Pro. 99. And, mm. you know, I, I would wanted to, t I was thinking, I, I, want, I almost text Chris Aceto because he was texting me because he had a Duato Correa in the show who got second, by the way, which they thought should have won, right? Wow. And uh, I wanted to text him and say, Chris, I won the Night of Champions 19 years ago. How fucking crazy is that, Dave? Yeah. I met you 18 years ago. I know. Two decades almost. That's just, how fast does time go? And I was starting to reminisce a little bit about winning shows and competing. And then, you know, I brought up this whole thing like a couple weeks ago, how I, you know, I was talking about the Olympia and Sean Roden. And, you know, if I was 42, I'd come back and compete. We talk about this all the time, right? But I honestly tell you, okay, title of this video, I hated winning the Mr. Olympia. Does really? that make sense? No. Now, but you know me. I hated winning the Mr. Olympia. You know why I hated winning the Mr. Olympia? Because how am I about everything? Like you sit there and say, Jay, we got this many views on this video and people are liking it. What's my reaction? Am I ever <laughs> you, satisfied? No, you're like, is that good? <laughs> 
I mean, to me, if success is when we get over a thousand views per hour. To me, I'm like, okay, we're doing good. We're, you know, so when we get, you know, two, three thousand, in, 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 which happens, you know, in one hour, I'm like, holy, I'm excited. So I usually have tendency to tell you, and you're like, is that good? And I'm like, and I never know if you're serious or not. You know what's funny? The true fans will understand what I'm saying. I hated winning the lift, Mr. Olympia. You know why? Because when I did win, I always, I got a little. A little uh, like pleased with the success. I got a little um, comfortable it, to when I was losing. When I was chasing Ronnie, it so seems like when I like when Ronnie wasn't there anymore, I was like, "Fuck, man!" Because I can honestly say, when I won in two thousand six, which is here, people ask me, "What was it like? Was it better to win the Mister Olympia, or was it actually better to beat Ronnie Coleman?" And it was probably better to beat Ronnie Coleman. I mean, granted, the, the huge success of winning the Olympia in one of these, right? People always ask me which one was 06. I have no idea. <laughs> it's not like the Arnold where that the actually it says the, it the on date, the front, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But I always found like I wasn't as motivated winning as I was losing. And I, dude, you're around me. You know yeah. how fired I was after losing a Dexter. I mean, yeah. that's, you know how, you know, listen, you knew I was hungry in. We were together for 03, because remember I skipped 02, I met you yeah. 01. Yeah. 03, like I really thought I was going to win. 04, I really thought I was going to win. 05, I thought I was going to win. And then when I won in 06, I mean, I was ecstatic. We were, it was like, you knew I was going to win, right? I mean, no diuretics. I talk about that all the time. But I want to say something about that, though, because someone recently actually told me, they said it was really your reaction in 06 when you won was really kind of like, like not what they expected. And I know why, because you said that private. I think I, don't know, I think it was privately on, on an interview, and you said you were happy you won, but you felt bad for Ronnie. Sense, so it was bittersweet because you wanted to beat him for so much, but because he told you right before he was losing, I could see in your face that you were sad for him. Yeah, I was fucking pissed though because you know Ronnie told me on stage, "You won. You go look at the video, guys. Yeah. Go look at the Olympia. Just search it on." YouTube and you'll see Ronnie standing there facing me, he's turning like this and he's like you won you won you beat me and I was like fuck like this kind of like ruined the moment right because I like when they announced it and of course then Gustavo jumps on yeah. me right uh, so he stole the moment by he kind of stole the moment but it was like fuck I was dealing with that emotion of like man here's my hero here's my guy that I respect so much here's the whole reason why I was became Jay Cutler, who I actually was on that stage, like the fucking beast, right? And he's like, dude, you won. I'm handing you the title right now. I'm about to hand it to you, but try to take it, like, just act surprised almost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So even though you and I both kind of knew after prejudging, we knew yeah. the way it was, like, the feedback and whatever else, we knew it was going to happen. Yeah. But, dude, I didn't trust the fact because know. in 05, it Same was so thing. close. Yeah, we, th we went home after prejudging, like, fuck, this is a wrap, yep. right? So you never know. It's like it's yeah. like trying to cash a check before the check's in your bank account. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so they announce your name. You yeah. don't know what's going to happen. So I was like, damn. But I hated winning. Because I was always hungry on the other side. I was always hungry as the underdog. It's like the Rocky Balboa story. Remember yeah. when he got rich and famous and yeah. whatever, and then he lost? And, you know, because with the success comes more bookings, more public. You have to go the extra mile to be the ambassador, right? We can talk about, well, what makes Mr. Olympia different from the second place or third place? Well, then you're the fucking man. Like, you have to... You have to take every second to shake everyone's hand. And granted, that's my nature anyway. You see it even today, right? I take mm -hmm. time with people. People say you have to have a lot of patience, but I've groomed myself over 25 years to be patient. And it's really hard sometimes, honestly, because I'm trying to get places. But I know that it means so much to people. If I can touch, you know, in a year's time, six people's lives that I never had an interaction with before and really make a change in a positive way for their life, dude, my job is whatever I've done in 25 years is complete. There's no better satisfaction. I don't put dollar amounts, trophies, awards, accolades, like all that shit you see here. This is history, right? I don't do any, my self-satisfaction now is, is doing what I can for other people, right? That's why I continue to travel. Yes, I get paid at certain events, but a lot of events I don't, I don't get paid. And you know that. Yeah. We have our military thing coming up the end of 
dude, that's, I'm going two days early. I'm financing that to go spend time to get, you know, show appreciation. I'm not doing it for any, I'm not going to sit here and publicize, oh, I'm doing so much for the military and this and that. I just love to do it, man. Be appreciated. Yeah, too. man. Yeah. Like, what satisfaction can, do you have that you can just continually, like, make people enthused about going to the gym and feeling better about themselves. Like self-esteem is a huge, a huge crisis, right? People don't feel confident. They don't feel like they look right. They're very insecure about everything. I mean, look at how you are. Like you go to the gym on a daily. If you miss a week, remember when you had your shoulder issue? And you yeah, couldn't train, five right? weeks I left. You were going crazy, right? right? I mean, you settled in because you were busy. We were working on the channel. It Thank God. a full-time job, but... <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if you're sitting around just like, oh, no. okay, I got to get ready for the Olympia next year. But that's going to surprise a lot of people. But a lot of people, if you really followed me for many, many years, you guys, I want you guys to comment. You can see that, right? You can see that the underdog shit was just like, that's what made me into the champ that I was. I think it built my fan base too. I mean, yeah. me winning was great for all the fans and like that rode all the way and like supported it. But at the same time, like, Dude, my career got reinvented when I lost, and then I came back to win it again. So there, is, you were really happy in yeah. '09 when you won. That yeah, reaction but, was awesome. But you know, remember I was moving. To, I moved to California, and I don't think that helped me. I kind of got out of the rhythm here because I wanted to be. You know, I was hoping the movie was going to take off yeah. with the Hercules film and all that stuff. Yeah. So I was kind of like, oh, let's go to Cali. And you know, I was never on as I was never disciplined as much. I was in the fucking trenches here. But I got bored. Yeah. I got bored being a pro, pro bodybuilder. Full-time bodybuilding gets boring. <laughs> I don't right? Think so. I don't think so. <laughs> but um, when you say that, you know, don't you feel like since we've been doing the YouTube stuff that your reach now is so much greater than it was ever before? Because you well, read the comments. Well, it's listen, fucking... I read the comments. I get on there. I, I, that is me answering the comments. Yeah, too, yeah. Right? By the way, even the ones where I write, hey, jerk off, like get off the page. Someone's like, like who, who is this channel belong to? That? <laughs> They're like, what, what is he thinking? <laughs> well, you know, the people say I wasn't a fan then, but they can see that I'm a fan now. That's you know great. why? Because I'm real. I wake up. Someone hit me up this morning. I was on Insta story. And my hair is like, like this, bro. And they're like, dude, you're real shit, man. You get, I said, I don't give a fuck. I get up and put, I don't do anything with my hair. You know, my dog sits on my lap. I walk around. You know, you guys see me put everything on. So I'm not afraid to hide stuff. Like, there's no fake anything on YouTube that you see. And I think people can relate to that because they want to see. I think that's why it's popular. It's just because it's non It's raw. And, yeah. It's raw. You know, and that's why you just showed up here. And I said, Dave, I got something to say. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. So the title of this video is Why I Hated Winning the Mr. Olympia title. And let's see. What, and that's not clickbait because it's true. Yeah. It's true. And uh, guys, comment below. I want to see at least 200 comments on this video. If, if I don't hit 200, I'm going to be super disappointed. But actually, if I hit, if I hit over... 200 i'm gonna pick two people and i'm gonna send them this picture and i'm gonna make sure dave follows up with this and we're gonna post your name your screen name on there if we can get to 200 so that means you can and there's no limit how many times you can comment okay cool. okay <laughs> i think actually you know what the, the we'll notice the most people comment over and how over. fast do you think we'll get there i'm curious one day oh okay that's interesting. One day, and I mean, that means within a 24-hour period, we're going to hit That's we post it. Yes, of course. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to send this to you. And I don't care if you're overseas or you're in the States, you're going to get this picture. I'm going to, I'm going to sign it specifically for your name. By the way, this is the picture that's hanging at Gold's, Venice. Oh, yeah. That's the poster. Yeah. That only says it's missing the 2010 I know. date. I know. So let's get that done. Yeah. All right. So YouTube, shout out you guys. Comment below. 200 plus comments gets someone's winning this. And I'm picking a male and a female. Actually, I'll pick two males and two females. How's there you that? go. Awesome. Boom.